How about Michael Jeffrey Jordan? You talk about intimidation. Not only could he do it physically, but he did it mentally. No matter who you were, he always had more. He wanted to give you more and wanted to take more from you. The only guy I can think that would come even second fiddle to him is Kobe Bryant. All right, but I'll put LeBron James on that list as well. But if you want to talk intimidators in the NBA, let's go back a couple decades. Let's go back to 1960, the Boston Celtics and a guy named Bill Russell. So Murph, you hear a lot about quick jumpers in the NBA. That's Russell. Of course, quick as a cat, but smart as can be. Yeah, along with being one of the most competitive players ever to do it in the league. We've all heard the stories where he would uh, throw up in the, in the locker room before a game because he was so amped up and ready to go. One of the great intimidators, for sure. Sometimes it's the physically imposing presence mm -hmm. of someone. The other times, it's the mental aspect of the game.